Andre Wade with Just Release. Once again, come to talk about some things that uh, I was reading a compliment from one of the viewers. And then he was asking me about how to prepare himself because he was facing a 30 year sentence. You know, when I was, uh, when I was uh, in jail, and I was going through that process because they had offered me four to five years. And I was young, so the seriousness of it just didn't seek in to me at that time. But I was, I was, I, I was trying to do the things that, that required me for the case that I was being charged for, which was the three counts of aggravated robbery. So I went to the law library a lot. I don't know too much about the libraries out here or uh, the law libraries, but I'm pretty sure you have access to it. And and I and my, I recommend that even before you are being given a sentence, and I'm speaking this towards anybody that's facing anything in this nature, uh, to be familiar with the law upon the discharge. Because there's so many people that go to court and we, we, we place our life, our freedom in these lawyers' hands. And these lawyers, they go in there and they communicate with these judges and these DAs. And yet, they come out and the only thing they have on their notepad is what they're offering you. Time that they're offering you, deals what they're offering you but not so much of you being aware of the law of the choice that you're being charged for. So my, my, my recommend, I recommend this, is that, that if you if you outside here in society on bond and you're facing a sentence, to, to go and, 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 and get familiar with the law that you'll be charged upon it and, and, and ask questions about it so you'll be familiar with it. So when you're in that courtroom, you'll know how to deal with, with, with these lawyers and with these DAs and stuff because there's so many people, like I was at a young age, that's really illiterate to the law. I, 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 and I thought, I thought I knew enough, and I, but I didn't. Because it, it, when, I went, when I got my 45 years since, and I was serving the time, and I was still going to the law library, I seen so much that they did to me that was wrong. It was, that was wrong. So we have, to, we have to get up in here and we have to find out the, that, 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 that law of that charge. And what you can do about of, of getting a lesser sentence of what they offer you. And, and, and that's what you want to do if, you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're dead to the wrong. Then you want to try to get the least the least amount of time that you can get because they have to they have to give you that they have to give you like like I was a, they filed a habitual on me which mean that I had been to prison twice before that time and then they filed enhancement paragraphs on me but one of those paragraphs wasn't no good but I didn't know that at that time there's so much doubt I didn't know and I fought myself up because all I had to do man is, is it is it's beef with it, even though I wasn't no bond and I didn't have a bond, so I couldn't get out here, you know, get back out into society and do all that. But but the law lobby was there for me. And and I still I only went when I wanted to go. We need to go always. We need to be familiar with what we're being charged for. So that we won't get railroad. Because these lawyers, we pay them these monies. I had a partner. And and, and he had he had like uh, I think it was so much amount of time that he was trying to offer him, right? So then he ended up with this sentence, with the sentence that he was given. But you know what he told me? He said, man, I paid all that money and still got 20 years. Still got 20 years. And and, and don't you know, he, when, I left, when I left prison last year, he was still working on his case. Which if he, if he, if he, and he was on bond. He, his charge was charged, but he was on bond on it. And if he'd had the knowledge of going to law, law library and, and finding out, that's all we have to do is find out a little more. And But we have to prepare ourselves. We have to prepare ourselves physically and mentally because we don't know what we're about to face because we know we can't predict tomorrow. So we don't know where we're about to face when we're going in these institutions and stepping in these different states because different states' prison system is totally different. And, you know, that's from the offenders aspect as well. 
because you know uh, you can end up in, in, in a violent place you can end up in a, in a humble place and, and I pray that you know that a humble place is where you you know might end up at but if you, if you end up going to prison and you end up in, 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 in some of these you know violent places then still you know find the programs that benefit you Find the programs that uh that, that will allow you your first parole, not your second parole, because I know in a lot of these other states, you know, they they parole is different than ours, and 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 and, and they they don't do a lot of set offs. See, in Texas, they do a lot of set offs, and they they don't set you out for the for your behavior. They set you off for things that you did in your past. So. You have to uh, get into the programs, spiritual programs, or uh, educational programs, and, and, and vocational programs that 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 would, would that would give you that stability for parole, so that when you do face that parole board, you'll go home, you'll get out of that place. You got it. You you know we if, if, if we know what we do and we're willing to face the consequences, then. We have to go face what's ahead of us in these institutions, and then one of the things that's facing us is a, is, is a is a better growth in our development as a man and as a woman. So let's 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 take heed to the things that's beneficial for us. Let's take heed to it and and stay focused. Stay focused when you're in there. Don't don't allow. That, them things that's going on that you was doing in the streets that's going on in prison to get out of the way because that's what got you in prison. If what they doing in prison is what you was doing in the streets what got you there, then you know you ain't got no business doing that because that's going to hinder you and, 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 and deny your parole because ain't nothing going to come but a disciplinary case and when you get them disciplinary cases, that, that hinders you from making that parole. Bad influences, we gotta pay attention to to the to carriers that we deal with. You know? Because we ain't trying to make friends. We're not trying to make friends. We just left us a, a bunch of so-called friends that ain't gonna be for you when you get there. So let's let's test this uh uh do those things and and, and go and get out. Cause there's so much, you know, uh, waiting on us out here. You know, even right now, while we won't bond, is we, you know, we can make that start to better our situation, so that when you do uh, come out, things will be already in the process. Cause there's so many organizations that's inside these prisons that's, that that help inmates, and those that's the organizations that you want to get involved in, not the gangs and all that. You know, uh, there are some trials we have to go through. Get that bond with the people that's going to be with you when you get incarcerated. Get that together right now while you're on bond. And because, you know, when we, when we find ourselves in these walls, man, and, 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 and so many people fall off after we've done, done so much time, and then people fall off because. You, you, you getting in trouble in there and everything, you know? Some people are magnet to trouble. So we got to tr figure out how to get away from that magnet. Release that magnet from us. Because if, if you go in there with that state of mind that this is what I'm gonna do, this is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this right. This is what I'm gonna do. I ain't gonna let nobody alter my way of thinking. I'm not gonna allow nobody to to uh, have me doing what they want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do because I'm on my own man. I got myself in trouble. So I'm going to go do my own time. And I'm going to do what it takes to get out, not stay in. Yeah, this is Andre Wade with Just Release. And I'll be back. Ah!